Yep, we're rolling. Give me okay, turn. There it is. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better. <laughs> Okay, let go. <laughs> We're here on campus in a lot. So bad. <laughs> and today I'm gonna give y'all a tour of campus, wow. kind of showing you guys the buildings and everything like that. And if you're new, like incoming freshman, this could be helpful to you. So this is a lot if you're commuting, this is what you're gonna park in. And if not, um, there's a couple right other there. lots. Let's get to going up the stairs. So if you go right across from A-Lot, this is called the Field House, I'm pretty sure. And then it has, um, or like it's called like London Home Gymnasium. If you're an athletic student, that's where you'll be. Um, this is where the gymnasts are. Football field is behind this building and then like the pool is in there too. Um, that's yeah, the Field House is what I call it. So this is a little like kind of sketch in the winter, but this is where you have to walk over to get to the other side. But this I think is a soccer field right here. This is where like soccer players obviously play. And then next to it over here is the field of like, football. The soccer players play on the I don't know. Right behind this field is the nursing building, the brand new building. It's gorgeous. That is the football field right there guys. If you're new to UNH, I don't know if you really can see it, but that's where we sit and the visitors sit on this side. This is the college, one of the entrances I believe to the college woods, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so if you ever want to go on a hike, trail, walk, whatever, they have a million different routes, so you can do that. But I would always say, don't go alone. Okay, this is the health science good. simulation center. There. This is all the professors' offices over here, and then this is the sim lab. And then the middle is like where you can study. I'm gonna get a quick pic real fast. Okay, it's locked, so you can't get in, but this is the main area, and then that's the lab and everything over there. I'm excited to get back to campus honestly because then I get to do my nursing skills and yeah, so Jeez Nursing at UNH is very good and if you get into it, you should be really proud okay, So this is the other way you can walk. It's like under this bridge So the train goes over this I'm pretty sure but I can take I used to take this way as well like if you're a freshman and you're gonna go to the nursing sim lab area you're most likely going to want to take this way because your halls are like your dorm halls are right up here. This is Handler Hall. That's what it is. And look, you have a whole lawn where like everyone chills out here normally. And I always see them like you can play games or whatever. Now we're getting into more of the engineering halls. So this is called Kingsbury Hall. It's again engineering. And so yeah, if you have a class in Kingsbury, that is where you're going to be. Here's Philly. Um, this, this is one entrance. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Um, and yeah, this is like a kind of a smaller dining hall just because it's really just for the freshmen. Sometimes people say like Philly has the best food, so it does. I don't know. Food that other, the other dining halls I think freshmen kind of get it pretty nice. The inside of Philly. This is just one little corner. It's pretty cool. Um, and then this is the other side of Philly. It still has a ramp, so if you need access like that, side you would enter from. This one's Williamson, and then it has a sister dorm over here, which is Christensen. And you basically have like a really tall section and then like kind of a smaller section over here. But um, if you're living in these, you'll meet a ton of people. There's a million of these around campus. They turn like the light is obviously blue at night. And I'm sure they have them like everywhere on every campus in the world. But obviously you just press the red button. If you're ever like out at night up. by yourself, and you're like that, you're not feeling safe or something is happening, press the button because the cops automatically come. Yeah, definitely know where those are. Always be able to see one because at night it can get a little sketchy and people are always good. So just be aware of that when you're on campus. All right, so over here, I don't know if you can see it. This is called Raymond's like food truck. I think it's Ramones. Ramon Ramones? I think it's Ramones. Ramon, food yeah. truck. Um, a lot of people will stop here and grab them pretty sure. This is the front of Parsons, so we saw the back. This is the front, so again, if you have any math classes, anything like that, that's going to be in Parsons. Um, look at those tiger heads. This is 
art. I mean, this is where the art is. Yeah. Well, because if you can show that wall. Yeah. So there's the whole wall. I'm pretty sure this is the art building, but I could be wrong. It's pretty cool. Definitely is the art building. Hall buildings, I feel like. Campus. So many random things on campus. This is Redmond <laughs> Hall. And then over there, if you want a turnkey, there's an office. That's Spalding Hall. These are where like you'll have labs and all that fun. Anatomy and Fizz was in Spalding for me, and then Microbes Lab was in Redmond. I would sit on these benches and worry about if I was going to pass the practical. Um, I did, I think, on every single one, but it was nerve-wracking. A lot of other kids were sitting there with you on that. But Barely. This is where your labs are. Okay, so this is another food truck. I think I met the owner of it, like you all know, but this is Liz Green. You probably drink coffee, and a lot of people also get coffee from here and get some food. So if you want to, go ahead and do it. So this is Hewitt Hall. This is like where the nursing sim lab was before we had our new building. But now, if you have like death and dying as a class, it's in here. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know what other classes are in here, but it's mostly like offices of the professors are still in here, and then a few other things. Like I did my drug testing last year here, so this is again like another kind of like nursing building. Right here, this is a classroom. People will come out and have class here. Um, it's like kind of like different levels and seats, and that is like a chalkboard. That goes off every 30 minutes, and then when it's an hour, like he said, it'll. I think it dings every. So it's like if it's, it's four, four o'clock, it's ding, four, ding times. four times. Twelve o'clock, twelve so times. So if you're sitting in your class and you hear that, it's just kind of like I love hearing it because I'm like, okay, this class is like almost done. Oh yeah. To be honest. Okay. And this is where I had my environmental, uh, global environmental change class. It's, it's not the James Charles James Hall. <clears throat> Honestly, I think the coolest building in the whole place, not look-wise, but the stuff on the inside is absolutely incredible. This is another emergency one. So they have tents all over campus too, where like they'll help put tables and stuff, and the Wi-Fi is there, so you can do your work. Um, this is a walkway to Thompson Hall. Beautiful hall. This is where the bell, the tower is and everything. And then over here is Congreve Hall. Oh, that's like all the sporty people, all the athletes live there. But we're gonna walk up to Thompson Hall, to T Hall is what it's called, or T Lawn, um, and show you guys what's good. This is T Hall from the front. Didn't I say she was pretty, y'all? I said she was pretty. She's the prettiest one pretty. on campus. Diamond Library, it's gorgeous. I don't know if we can go inside. It's Diamond Library. If we can, I'll show you like a quick glimpse, but it's really fun. I definitely recommend coming here because. There's like rooms, like this room, room over here. This is like a quiet study area. So like it's silent in there. So if you need to be in a silent area, you can do that. There's areas where they have like little desks that are like private desks, like kind of like nooks. Those are great. And then I have like little study rooms that like your friends and you can rent out. They have like TVs and everything. And those are also great if you're doing like a group study sesh. So is Merck, Merklin Hall. This is where I had my math class. Same here. Um, and Keelan had some here too. So if you're in math, this could be a building. That's your end. This is a hill that I've climbed too many times in my lifetime here. This is Hamsmith. This is like the big auditorium. There's one right here and then another one on the other side. This is where like, if you have a big class, like big lecture, that could be in here. I had a lot of classes in here. Took a lot of my exams in here. He's got a lot in here. So it's a beautiful building. Um, probably everyone on campus has been in this building at least once. So this is the MUB and this is where like Hollow Commons is. This is like a big dining hall that like almost everybody eats at. Um, it's going to be right here. And then over here you'll find like a study session, another eating area called like common area. And then the school store bookstore is also in this building. Yeah, Holly Commons, and then let's go into the Okay, now we're in the mug. We're gonna get back. Oh, and Dunkin' Donuts is right back there. So if you ever want Dunkin' Donuts in the morning, you can get it, but let me tell you, that line, you'll be there for a while. So mobile order. Let me show you this. This is um, 
where you like pick up your packages, you get a, your ID, I think somewhere over here, and then Union Court, that's what it is. That has like all healthy food and there's like music that plays and it's a big study area. So this is hallway commons from the other side. I told you guys this one's huge. It's like two layers and it is just gorgeous from the outside. Over here is more like dorm halls. These freshmen can live in I think as well. And then this is, what is this hall? No idea. But this is lower quad over here and then upper quads over there. You can't really see it, but I lived in lower quad last semester. Over here is like Aroma Joe's and Subway. And then if we go down there more, those are where the bars are. Those are where the shops are, everything super fun. If you turn up there a little bit more, all the sororities and frats are kind of like in that area. Okay, so this is health and wellness. It's like right near downtown area. If you're ever sick or anything like that, go there um, they have everything all right everybody this is the Peter T Paul College of Business and Economics beautiful front lawn beautiful tree love it uh, established in 2012 well, around. it actually was built in 2013 but uh, you come around the side it goes all the way down there I wish I could I don't think it's open right now and just on the inside is just amazing. I think it's the most updated building. Okay, this is Stone Hall. <laughs> this is where most, like, it's literally all freshmen. This is the craziest hall on campus. Wildest things go on here. What goes on but there? I don't know. And we, we really don't want to. We don't want to know. Um, but. This is Stoke. You'll meet a lot of cool people here. This is where you want to be to make close friends if you know nobody on campus. That is where Stillings is and what's the other one? Wild Kitty. Wild Kitty, you can go and get food at night. They have really good like chicken and french fries and stuff. Um, that's open for really like a later time. It's also like a convenience store. And then you have Stillings, which is like the dining hall basically for Stoke. It's kind of a, another freshman dining hall. Then over here, this is Smith Hall. I don't really know what this hall is, but I think there's a cute little swing over here that I discovered on my way back from the gym one time, so I want to do that real fast. Yeah. Oh, Key, this is it. Okay, this is Hamel Rec Center. This is the gym if you want to get a good workout, a good lift, good Zumba class. They have cycling. They have like literally anything you name it. Then come here. It's pretty sick inside. I'm not gonna go in there right now because that'd be awkward, but it's a, it's a college gym. Just imagine like Planet Fitness, but on a million steroids. This is the Whittemore Center. This is where like our hockey games happen. That's kind of about it. Concerts, concerts, concerts. There's ice skating, like open skate night. That's super fun. I go with my friends. But yeah. The Whittemore Center, can't miss it. It's huge. And then this is where field hockey, We'll play sometimes for freshmen. They'll have like orientation nights here. They'll have like cornhole boards and all that stuff. So look out for those nights. Definitely want to go and meet some people. This is where the home of our wild e cat. I think that's an area, I'm not sure. But fun fact about this is before the start of each semester or the start of the first day, you come and you rub him on the nose for good luck. I'm not going to do it yet because it's not the first day. You'll rub them for good luck and... Get on top, ride them. No, I did it last year and I got straight eights. So I'm gonna do it. Wait, again. rub his nose or went on top? Rub his nose. Oh, I, but yeah, I rode him. Super cute, love him. Home of the wild cat. Okay, so this is the end of the tour. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. So I think this is the end. What do we have to say, Key? Once a wild cat, always, always a wild, a wild cat. cat. I, I, I.